Halfway Haven is one of a handful of places that I think should be on every snowmobiler's bucket list. But more than just a cool destination, Halfway Haven is, strategically, very important for numerous industries in Northern Ontario. Simply put, you can't get any farther north in Ontario than Sault Ste. Marie by trail without Halfway Haven as a gas stop. This isn't just true for snowmobilers, but also for ATVers, dual sport riders, and hunters and fishermen. It's the only stop once you leave Sault Ste. Marie. A recent article by the Intrepid Snowmobiler on supertracksmag.com covered the precarious position Halfway Haven is in right now in terms of continued operation. While it's not closed this season, and there aren't really any immediate plans to close, this landmark is always at the mercy of the riders. If no one goes, it can't stay open. And if it closes, it not only affects the owners themselves, but also countless other businesses in Northern Ontario who rely on the off-road traffic coming through Halfway Haven to continue to operate. This translates into hundreds of jobs and over 25 million in total revenue for dozens of smaller communities. Halfway Haven isn't just a cool spot. It's really important to snowmobiling in Northern Ontario. This place has been around for years and years and years, decades, and it hasn't really changed much. I couldn't believe that this building really existed way back in here. Without it, that trail, all three trails would be closed to each one of them destinations. Very rustic, as you could imagine, being in the middle of nowhere, but had a really, really homey feel. They have fuel, have diesel if required. I think there's 11 rooms that are double occupancy, and then there's the two out cabins, so they can accommodate quite a few people. Nice little sitting area, both have fireplace in the sitting area and in the dining area. I visited Halfway Haven on a recent trip from Sault Ste. Marie to Wawa, Ontario. I was led by John Breckenridge of the Sioux Trailblazer Snowmobile Club, and he explained why Halfway Haven is so important specifically to snowmobiling in Northern Ontario. It's because of the distance between the two locations or three locations. We need fuel for our groomers and people need fuel for their sleds. Everybody uses it as a fuel stop and a lunch stop. And as you know yourself, the food is incredible. So what can you do to keep a good thing going? Well, the best thing you can do this winter is to show your support by making Halfway Haven part of your riding destination. And when you visit Halfway, along with all the other local businesses, make sure you voice your support and appreciation for them. The more support we can give them, the better the chances the main stakeholders will have in keeping Halfway Haven open permanently. To learn more about the amazing riding adventure that passes through Halfway Haven from Sault Ste. Marie to Wawa, click on the links at the end of this video to watch our two-part Algoma County destination ride, and don't forget to leave a comment below in support of keeping Halfway Haven open.